He makes money by hunting rats. He made 5 cents for 10 kills. Finally the rats got angry. That day they all came at him. His foot slipped and fell straight into a pickle jar. Unfortunately, the kimchi factory was suddenly closed down. No one noticed that he had fallen in. A hundred years have passed since then. Two children accidentally came to this abandoned factory. They accidentally opened the lid of the kimchi bat. The man who had been pickled for 100 years suddenly woke up. The scientist explains to the journalists how he survived. However the man was in a panic. After hearing that his wife had been dead for 80 years, he finally exploded in his mind. The next day, the scientists gave him the good news that they had found that he still had one living relative. His name was Green. It was his great-grandson. This descendant was the exact same age as him. The two of them hugged each other with excitement. When they met, outside the door, there were tall buildings, machines roaring. Everything was unheard of. He almost punched the taxi. At his request, Green took him to his wife's grave. A hundred years ago, it was a beautiful place, and now it's a crumbling dump, a pile of filth on a billboard. Falling down on the headstone, it made his heart ache. He asked Green to join him in praying for the family. Then a couple of guys come by to update the ad. Pickle asks them to remove the signs. He said, what's wrong with your head? He threw his fist and knocked them off their feet. They were arrested and taken to the police. Green spent all his savings to pay the bail, came home and gave his ancestors a hard time. He said that his ancestors didn't know any better. Pickle was furious. You're an ungrateful grandson. You were still in outer space when I was born. After saying that, he turned around and left. The city was so big, there was no place for him. But he had the strength of will of a hundred years ago. Soon he was the best looking man on the streets of America. He accidentally fell into a kimchi vat. He was marinated for 100 years before waking up. This is the world a hundred years later. He had no one to turn to but his hands to support himself. So he decided to make kimchi with no money. He couldn't afford to buy the ingredients. So he went to the bin to collect them. And he found cucumbers and salt. He assembled a cart from various discarded parts. He washed the cucumbers. Put them in the old glass bottles. Lined up neatly one by one. Waiting for the rain and bird droppings to fill them up. Behind all the delicacies is a gift from nature. Times have changed. But the need for good food doesn't change. Rain pickled cucumbers are a hit with the masses. The media are all over the place. The kimchi man is overjoyed. He's laughing at his great grandson on camera. Seeing his ancestor so pleased. Green's heart was burning with anger. The last time his ancestor hit someone, he was put in the police station too, and lost a big business deal. And you have the nerve to scold me? He turned to the health department and reported this shitty kimchi. The law enforcement officer soon found him. He was told to stop the business immediately. He was also fined $20,000. The people who got the news came to boycott him. The simple kimchi man was dumbfounded. That's when, two old customers came to him with an idea. They told him to get some college interns to help him. Not only did he not have to pay for the work, and he could make a batch of kimchi. That met hygiene standards. And it worked. The hygiene of the product was immediately upgraded. Bottles of kimchi were brought back to market. With the help of everyone. This time, the sales were a hundred times higher than before. The kimchi man made a fortune. He finally bought the billboard next to his wife's grave, and then removed it on the spot, defending the family honor. Investors also came to the door, ready to invest a billion dollars to help him build a kimchi empire. Seeing the success of his ancestors, Green's heart became even more unbalanced. That day, his ancestor put aside his prejudices. He came to his home and invited him to join him in his business. He then persuaded his ancestor to post on social media sites. He said that more followers would make his business better. Pickle listened to him. He asked his female assistant to help him. He posted some of his views online from a hundred years ago. This was soon met with protests. Even the female assistant couldn't handle it and rebelled on the spot. A few days later, these 100-year-old ideas got people thinking again. They felt that Pickle's thinking was indeed very sharp. He was soon invited to a nationally televised debate. Great-grandson Green, in disguise, posed a trap question from below, asking his ancestor to answer it. Turns out Pickle really screwed up. His views were completely contrary to the mainstream. It triggered a social outcry. The state simply deported him. Pickle escaped to Green's home, asking him to help him smuggle himself into Canada. Green agrees. They navigate their way across the border. On the way, Green feels very guilty, confessing his mistake to his ancestors. When his ancestors heard this, he beat him down on the spot. The border police happened to pass by. Pickle changed into Green's clothes, shaved his beard. Then, he returned to New York, pretending to be the real grandson. Green was arrested. All his belongings were taken from him. He had no way to prove himself. He was exiled to his home in Europe as a pickle boy. Penniless, he didn't know how he was going to survive. He then went to church to repent for all the things he had done to defy his ancestors and his family. He didn't expect to see his ancestors come to him. They had made peace with each other. After all, Blood is thicker than water. They decided to work together to make the kimchi business a success.